Um, hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's Bite Size Talk. I am very happy to have with me Marco de la Pierre, and he is working at Sequera in the team that is responsible for wave container building and uh, has experience also from his previous work with uh, working with containers on HPCs. And um, off to you. All right, thanks, Francisca, for the introduction. Uh, good afternoon uh, for everyone in Europe. Uh, good day for everyone in general. Uh, so, okay, today I'm gonna talk to you a bit about uh, singularity containers in Nextflow. Um, so I'm gonna, let me let me just start with sharing the screen, uh, just to help my, my talking. Uh, here we go. Uh, you should be able to see just a uh, just a single slide that I've made just to at the same table of contents. So the idea is to give you a brief overview uh, of uh, singularity and obtainer containers, in particular relevance to HPC, and crucially also some uh, some recent uh, additions in the feature set that uh, has occurred in the recent months. Um, and then the idea is to briefly show you some of these uh, uh, new features with uh, live coding examples of singularity. Uh, and then the meat of the of the examples I'm gonna show will be by using Nextflow on on the CLI. I'm gonna show you how to customize uh, Nextflow configuration file to to use all of the variants of the all of the possible ways of uh, deploying Singularity or obtainer containers. Uh, and then I'm also gonna show you some examples in combination with the Wave uh, container services. Which has also seen quite some quite exciting uh, upgrades in uh, in recent times. Um, please, if uh, there's anything that is uh, blocking you uh, at any time, I think you can feel free to raise your hand or uh, unmute and ask a question. Uh, I will make some uh, breaks anyway in between topics uh, and ask for for your questions. So, uh, just an introduction on singularity in obtainer. So. Uh, as you, I assume you guys know, uh, Nextflow was conceived from, from the beginning with support for uh, containers. And the idea uh, was to maximize the ability to reproduce and port pipelines everywhere on all infrastructure and all types of, types of computers from the laptop uh, to HPC to the cloud. Uh, and that was one of the original uh, concepts that Paolo uh, implemented in Nextflow. So containers have been instrumental to, uh, to the success of Nextflow since the early days. Uh, you might know that the, the most popular container technology is called Docker, which was born in the commercial world. Uh, but here is the thing, Docker doesn't really uh, suit the needs and requirements of HPC facilities. Um, as far as I know, I, I, there's no HPC cluster in the world that enables uh, people to run Docker containers using Docker. Um, there are alternative technologies that are best suited for HPC. Uh, and wh why is that the case? Um, so for the start, Docker uh, required the sudo privileges or so root uh, access in order, in order to run. Uh, at the user level and HPC administrators are not really happy to, to allow users to, to run as root on a, on a shared supercomputer. Um, in, uh, in recent versions, that uh, this requirement has, has been made weaker by the Docker developers, but uh, there is also a second issue. So Docker uh, is not a standalone executable application. It always requires a, a long running daemon, so a long running process uh, in the background that uh, orchestrates all of the execution of Docker. And again, the, the reliance on a daemon is not a good thing in HPC uh, because it doesn't allow for, uh, for uh, optimal integration with the scheduler, for instance, and for other services of a, of a shared uh, cluster. And that's why alternative container engines uh, have been developed for HPC. Uh, Singularity has been probably the most successful alternative to Docker and, and the first one to become super popular uh, everywhere in, uh, in HPC. There were others back in the days, uh, Shifter and then Sarus and others, uh, Charlie Cloud, but Singularity became the, for, for many years, was the de facto standard. Uh, just, let me just, uh, uh, the page of the, of the Scilabs a company that uh, developed Singularity from the start. Um, these days, we don't have only Singularity. The, the second, probably most popular engine is Aptainer, which is actually, uh, these two these two applications are actually related. The one was fourth out of the others. Uh, singularities these days still backed mostly by a company, Scilabs. Singularity C is 
is a free product, but it's still backed by the company. Uh, whereas Uptainer is a full open source project uh, supported by the Linux Foundation. And so we have these two projects that are actually very similar. The, the commands uh, and the functionalities are actually very similar, not, not, not identical, but similar. Uh, and some centers might use one, some centers might use others. For the sake of completeness, there are uh, there is also uh, the Podman uh, technology developed by the Red Hat that is coming become that is becoming increasingly popular in HPC. But today we're going to focus on Singularity and Uptainer uh, because it's the most popular technology in HPC these days uh, to run containers. Um, Nextflow pro has, has provided Singularity support almost since the beginning, uh, and today we're going to uh, we're going to review some of the uh, recent functionalities that were uh, uh, added in, in Singularity and Uptainer that, that in recent months have been uh, brought into Nextflow. So um, let me start uh, with uh, a bit of uh, uh, hands-on coding, uh, just with the singularity command line, just to show you what one, uh, these two key uh, additions that uh, were uh, implemented in the, the engine and that uh, we also brought into Nextflow uh, recently. Um, I, I'm going to mention the differences with Obtainer as we go. Um, so. I'm here on a Linux virtual machine uh, based on Ubuntu. I'm running Singularity version 4.0. This is quite important because uh, some of this, uh, something I'm going to show is actually quite recent. Um, let's start from the older edition, though. So uh, the ability to natively download and run uh, Docker-based Docker containers. Uh, and to let Singularity manage all of the caching and all of the um, all of the management of the of the image in the local machine, uh, you you don't you don't need to pay too much attention to the to the syntax and typing uh, because then all of the point of of Nextflow is actually to avoid you guys to refrain you guys from having to learn all of this. But I'm going to show you one very important aspect uh, to the Singularity example that is then implied in the next flow functionalities. Uh, and I'm gonna do this with a, a usual silly example I use, which is just, uh, let me go in a fresh directory, which is just uh, um, Ubuntu container. Um, so this is the syntax singularity pool to, 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 to locally pull the, this image in the, in the current directory. Uh, and in a moment, I'm going to show you why I'm showing you this. So you perform the pool. Singularity is going to convert, translate this Docker container in the Docker registry into its own format, which is SIF, SIF, a SIF file. Uh, this is one of the, this difference in, uh, in image format it was one of the issues that the Singularity de developers have, have tried to, 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 to target in recent days to improve the compatibility of these two words, Docker and Singularity. When the pool is complete, you have your Ubuntu container here, and you can actually use it uh, to execute a command. Just a silly one, just to show you. Um, but what is the what is the key um, message I want to want to convey here? So even if you are just uh, downloading the image in this directory under the hood, uh, Singularity is, is caching a copy in its own location. Here I have a huge cache of images because I have pre-filled the, the cache with what I need for the next flow example later. Uh, but the key point here, I'm going to point you to this line in particular. Uh, this file of 24 megabytes is actually a caching of this Ubuntu image. And in fact, if you have a look at the size, it's approximately 25 megabytes. Now, what is the key point? Uh, the key point is that I don't really need to explicitly uh, download the image in the local location. I can just ask Singularity, oop, little typo, uh, to run the remote URL of this container and execute a command, such as echo hello. And now you will see that it's not going to uh, re-download everything. It just says using cached image. What's happened here? Uh, there is no Ubuntu image here, but what happened 
is that singularity used that cached file uh, in the cache. So this means that basically, and uh, so and this is through starting from singularity 3.x and uh, all versions of, of obtainer. You don't really need to explicitly download uh, Docker containers in your local image or any type of containers. You can just uh, directly execute a command and singularity will take care of, uh, of caching the image for you. Uh, where is actually gonna uh, cache it? Well, by default, let me, uh, by default, this will happen in a singularity cache directory in your home, but this directory can actually be controlled uh, through environment variable. Um, so you see here, you have two, two options to perform the additional pool and then use the local image or just let singularity manage the caching and download of the image. Um, so this has been there for since singularity three, so for actually quite a few years, uh, but it was not uh, enforced and used by Nextflow until uh, until December. And so this is now a functionality that is present in uh, since the April stable release 20, 2024 04. Um, I don't have obtainer installed here, but if I were to show you the obtainer example, it would be exactly the same thing. So uh, also obtainer is able to just manage the caching of, of images for you. This means basically it, you don't need to, you, you reduce the risk of uh, having multiple local pools, local copies of the same image in different directories, you can just leverage the cache the whole time and so just use one copy. Uh, and just know this is true for, uh, this is true for Docker images, for, uh, for uh, SIF native images for everything within the singularity and obtainer implementations. Uh, so this is new feature number one. Uh, before showing it to you in Nextflow, let me show you the new feature number two. This is much fresher actually. Uh, and there was a lot uh, of, uh, of advertising. Uh, let me just show you uh, the release in the Singularity GitHub. Um, and uh, should be here. Here we go in January. Uh, oops, wrong one. Here we go. September 2023, Singularity 4.0.0. This was a massive release um, with this new functionality of OCI mode support. Uh, what does it mean? Um, since September, the Singularity developers have bridged, have reduced, greatly reduced the gap between Docker image format and Singularity image format. Uh, so basically what Singularity from version four is able to do is actually to, uh, to run the Docker images almost the same way as they are hosted as Docker images. So there is no more need for a full conversion and translation of the image. Uh, what happens is that the image is just, all of the layers of the Docker images are just downloaded and just uh, put together into a single file uh, whose format has been called OCI SIF, uh, but there is no conversion. This is a, a full OCI compliant image, um, which Singularity 3 was not able to run Singularity 4 is able to run. Uh, why is this relevant? Well, because by removing the translation component, we are, uh, Singularity is making the usage of these uh, Docker containers much closer to what happens with Docker. Uh, so this means uh, less compatibility problems. Uh, there were a lot of occasions when at the time of conversions, some uh, images would fail to translate. Um, and, uh, and you always wonder uh, as well, how the translation may impact the, the setup of the software inside the image. Well, with this OCI mode, there is no big conversion happening. Uh, all of the layers of the Docker uh, image are put together in a single file, which is then run in this OCI mode. Um, forgot to mention, OCI stands for Open Container Initiative. And it's actually the, the initiative run by Docker and many other big vendors to standardize the usage of images, of, of, of container images. So basically what's happening is that Singular is embracing this format more and more to get to get closer to the Docker world. This is because as much as the Singularity guys know they're very popular in HPC, they also acknowledge that the Docker file and the Docker style containers are much more popular overall. So by getting closer to that uh, standard, they're actually helping the community to consolidate around one. Uh, single way to do to do things, um, 
And so this means that uh, Singularity 4 is able to pull images in a, in, a, in a more native way and then run them in a more native way. Uh, and this is actually um, the, the, the second big uh, news in the Singularity world that was brought into NextFlow uh, recently. Uh, for the uh, sake of completeness, in Singularity 4.1, that was released in, in March, I believe, uh, in January, uh, there was an additional uh, addition, uh, which should be mentioned somewhere here, which is also the ability to build uh, these OCI images from a Docker file. And this is a very a first in the Singularity world, no more need for uh, arcane definition files that are used only by Singularity, but again, the ability to stay closer to the Docker world. Uh, closing this bracket, because it is not super relevant to us today. Let me go back to the to the command line uh, and show you the, the singularity example of using this OCI mode. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do again, singularity pool of this Docker Ubuntu, Ubuntu image. Um, actually, let's go the second way that would be equivalent. Let's execute the command straight away. And to enable OCI mode, all I need to do is to add this OCI flag. You will see that the prompt, uh, that the output displayed uh, from the command are a bit, a bit different. Uh, you see that now it's saying converting OCI to OCI SIF and writing OCI SIF. This tells you that uh, this OCI mode is being used. Um, now, you can't see it in the, with this small image, but in general, this process will be faster. Uh, than the old traditional conversion because it's actually just a, a squashing together everything in a single file. Um, how, how can you tell that things went differently? Well, there's also, diff uh, there's also the singularity cache way other than the output I just uh, show you. If I cache list again, um, you will see, so this was the previously pulled traditional format image, but now, there is also another image of the similar size, and this is the OCI C that was just downloaded. So same source, Docker Ubuntu 18.04, two different conversions. Uh, why is the second one preferred? As I said, uh, the format is closer to Docker, so better insurance is that the run is gonna be smooth and compatible with the original purpose of whoever created the image, but also faster conversion, so more efficiency in the pooling and, and running the, uh, the container, the application within the container. Um, okay, so I just showed you uh, the managed caching of uh, Singularity, uh, the managed caching of uh, Docker images by Singularity and the new OCI flag, OCI mode uh, in Singularity. Note that the second one is only relevant to Singularity, not obtainer. Uh, my my next step is probably is more of interest in this audience. So using these options inside the next flow and then uh, and then wave uh, but i thought it was good to give you some context uh, at a more uh, singularity focused level uh, if you have any questions i'm just going to stop for a for a little while otherwise i'm going to continue with the um uh, next flow examples so anyone is uh, allowed to unmute themselves if they have questions All right. Um, if not, uh, let's get started with a uh, next flow example. So what I have done, uh, let's actually do it from uh, the scratch together. I have I've made a, a fork of the toy pipeline RNA seek and F uh, hosted in the next flow GitHub repository and added some uh, profiles in the next flow config. Uh, nope. So it's in my uh, here. So Marco della Pierre and I seek an F. And then I have a branch called white size. Okay. And then I, I created a few dummy, I have a few ready to use profiles just to show you how, how we can leverage the various uh, RAM mode uh, of, uh, of singularity with NextFlow. Um, so, so this is the profile list in the config. I'm, I'm going to run the pipeline a few times. Uh, it's, it, it, 
some of you have never seen it. It's a very simple pipeline with only four steps using three different applications, Salmon, FastQC, and MultiQC. Um, by default, this pipeline uses Conda. Actually, let me show you one example, for instance, with MultiQC module. So you would see in each process, there is always a Conda directive uh, in use. Uh, but we're we are going to eventually override the default Conda mode in the config. So let's start with probably the simplest uh, case, uh, the singularity profile, which basically needs only two, uh, two specifications. Uh, needs to tell Nextflow to enable the singularity uh, uh, engine, so singularity enable two, and then if it's not done already in the at the module level, specify a container. In this toy pipeline, to make things simple, a monolithic container has been made that uh, contains all of the required applications. And here we go. It's uh, hosted on key.io. It's still a Docker, uh, a Docker container. Uh, this one here. So you just say, I needed to use uh, uh, this container with singularity. Uh, not that I've commented away this third option, Automans. Um, basically, Automans enable Nextflow to mimic uh, its own uh, Docker defaults of uh, automatically mounting all required uh, directories and files from the from the machine into the container. Uh, this is now the default as of, uh, I think, September edge release last year. So we don't need to, to specify this, which is good because it simplifies the config, uh, the config layout. Uh, so let's run this uh, first. Um, so next flow and just just for completeness uh, with next flow info I'm running the latest stable so 2404.2. Uh, let's run this pipeline with the profile singularity. Uh, so you will see that the, the, the container at download time is it will be almost zero because I have to cache the images just in the in the interest of uh, uh, of time. Still, you you see a warning here. You still see pooling image, and that's because uh, we are now we are currently running Singularity with the default traditional behavior of Nextflow, uh, where the where Nextflow takes care of saving a copy of the requested container in a Nextflow cache, and we're gonna see this very soon. Okay, the run is completed. Uh, I, I have used the default uh, word directory, which is inside the current path. And you see that Nextflow has created a copy of, the, of this image in the word directory. Oops, it is here. Um, what else can we do? Let's uh, let's actually use straight away the new um, the, the two new functionalities. So we now have another profile which I call sync pool, which in addition to the previous also specify OCI auto pool true. So this is one of the new options in uh, in the April Nextflow stable release. Uh, this basically tells Nextflow to let Singularity manage the download and caching of the images. And let's see what this means in practice. Uh, so let me down, let me remove the singularity directory in the word directory. Okay, so I have removed the image that the next flow previously downloaded there. So now if I next flow run a uh, sync pool, so with this new option enabled, uh, you will notice a little difference. So, so at the runtime, you see there is no, no output saying that Nextflow needs to pull the image. And this is actually because Nextflow is now delegating the, the pulling and caching to, to Singularity. Um, and in fact, you can see that no, no Singularity directory is now created here because uh, what was used was the image that Singularity set cached, one of, one of these ones that, that I had pre-downloaded. Uh, what, what are the implications from the, on the user perspective? Well, there are, there are two main implications of this delegation of 
of pooling and, and caching to, to Singularity. Uh, the first one is that uh, previously, in the first example that I showed you in, uh, in this example here, uh, it was the next flow master process that was pulling the images. So when it encountered a process that required a container, it, uh, the master process in the master job in an HPC context would take care of pulling that image. And that would actually be a serial process. One, uh, one image for, uh, for the first process and all of the other uh, process spawning and container pooling will be halted until one image uh, is downloaded and then uh, all of the images will be downloaded one by one in the master process in the in the head job. Um, in this context here, instead, with OCI auto pool, uh, we said the next flow doesn't spawn, uh, the next flow master process doesn't run the singularity pooling uh, anymore. It's delegating to, to singularity. And uh, as a consequence, the singularity actually pulls the images inside each process, which means that if there are multiple processes running, which are requesting different containers, each one, uh, this, this downloads can uh, happen in parallel and this also means that the pool is managed at the at the at the compute node level at the compute uh, 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 task level so if you're using a, a, an hpc scheduler it would happen inside uh, the scheduler job at the, at the compute node uh, so this actually means in a, uh, relieving the master the uh, no, the master job and the head process from uh, from this uh, burden, from this task, but also being able to, uh, to execute parallel pools uh, on different compute nodes if needed. Uh, and finally, uh, this also means that if you're using in your pipeline Docker uh, images, you're not risking anymore to duplicate uh, the, the local copy of the image uh, the next flow makes because uh, there will be one cached copy of each required container in the singularity cache and that's it. Um, so there's also an aspect of potential uh, disk uh, storage saving. Uh, note that the caches of singularity though are, uh, must be handled at the user level. So one singularity cache cannot be shared by different users. Each user has to use uh, their own. Um, so this is this is basically the the the, the trade-offs of of this type of functionality. Um, I'm aware that there may be pipeline setups where this is maybe not the, the optimal choice. Um, and when, when is this the case? Well, there are cases where uh, um, the administrators of, uh, of the cluster or even the, the team in charge of running pipelines pre-download SIF uh, images for the pipeline in a, in a agreed location. Well, if, uh, if this is your way, this, this, this can potentially be as effective. Um, because uh, just repeating in case some of the audience uh, is not aware, but uh, the next flow is also able to natively support uh, running a local copy of a C file. Uh, basically just by specifying the container as a file, uh, with a file prefix and then the full path. Uh, remember that the triple slash, uh, slashes. Uh, so this is a case which is actually, uh, which can actually be relevant in, uh, in uh, in some uh, for some things, so specifying a local uh, container file in C format and then singularity enabled equal to true. No, this is not new. This is something that was already doable before. Uh, I'm just flagging it uh, in comparison to to this new possibility. Um, and there may be reasons uh, for which some teams or or, or some uh, HPC clusters may prefer one over the other. Um, for completeness, I've also specified here uh, another case, which is the one that is uh, often used in the in the NF core pipelines uh, through the biocontainers the depot uh, um, website. So using C files uh, as downloaded from uh, from a remote location. So in this case, same as local copy. Here, there is no more conversion involved. These are SIF files. They are no more. They've already been converted or they were native uh, singularity SIF images. Uh, so this basically amounts to a bare download of the file. Uh, and so for, for what I, so this is a possibility, but um, probably what I would suggest uh, in this case, uh, so notice that uh, with this type of setup, uh, a remote a SIF, uh, Nextflow will still make a copy of uh, in the local word directory. So let me show you. Um, so 
So it's in next flow run profile similar. So I'm just gonna show you that in, in this in this setup there will still be a, a local copy made in the word directory. So this this remote CIF option can actually result in the application of CIF files. So my suggestion here, if you're using this, uh, if, if disk space is important to you and you want to delegate um, to delegate the, the image pooling to, to Singularity, uh, you should actually migrate to using the OCI auto pool. Uh, if you really want to use pre-downloaded SIF, a good idea, so rather than, than point to the remote one, a good idea is actually to pre-download them beforehand, which is enabled by NF core download, I believe, and, and use these local copies. So both these options, both the local SIF and the Docker auto pool, uh, reduce the, the duplication of image files. Uh, one leverages uh, the singularity cache and one just leverages a, a, a human managed uh, directory of C files. While I was talking, uh, this run completed. And you can see how by requesting the remote safe, I still got a local copy. Um, for completeness, let me show what happens if I use the sing local profile, which basically leverages a pre existing C file. Um, while this runs, uh, keep in mind that this, these options that I've just showed you. Uh, are available for both Singularity and Obtainer. Uh, and you may choose one or the other based on uh, the way your team uh, gets organized, but also on eventually uh, disk space requirement if you need to minimize the, the application of images and also if you need to offload the pooling from uh, from the master process of Nextflow onto the compute the nodes and the task processes. Um, Okay, this, is the, this was the local copy running, and you see that there is no caching here. And this is because I used a pre-existing file in the file system. Okay, uh, now let me show the, the second new functionality that I, that I presented today, of, uh, that is just applicable to Singularity 4. Uh, this is achieved uh, with uh, another new flag, which is called OCI mode. So define the container, Enable Singularity and Enable Singularity OCI mode. Uh, so let me do it here. Uh, now let's remember what happens here. Um, uh, singularity is now, instead of uh, converting uh, the Docker image onto the C format, it's just aggregating it into this new OCI SIF and running it as before. So two big advantages, uh, no conversion, so better compatibility with the expected run, and also uh, reduce download time compared to traditional way because there is no conversion. Uh, the third thing is that OCI mode essentially implies auto pool. So you will see also no copy of the image stored in the, in the word directory. Uh, OCI mode is also managed by singularity at the compute node level by each single task. Um, okay, so to wrap up on these new functionalities, why why should you use them? Well, my uh, unless you really prefer as a team or as a user to to manage a local collection of C files in this way. So if it is not a requirement of yours, if you're just using, if you just have the availability of a bunch of Docker images on Docker or or Kido .io or another repository, well, if you're using these Docker images and you're not downloading them, uh, uh, if, if the cluster is Singularity 4, uh, using this latest OCI mode is certainly uh, the best way to go. And as you see, if you the only addition is basically this, this new flag. Uh, this is better, as I said, uh, because there is no conversion, uh, so better compatibility, uh, shorter download time, and also uh, managed caching by, by Singularity. If you use an older Singularity version in your cluster, uh, you still have the option of the OCI to pool, uh, 
uh, that is still able to reduce the application of images uh, over the file system and um, and also offload the cache into singularity in the compute nodes. Um, well, I, I've spoken a bit more. Uh, I, I still have uh, a couple of examples using WAVE, uh, but before then, I just stop for a moment and ask if anyone has any questions. Okay, if not, uh, I'm gonna show you the, the WAVE examples. Uh, so what is WAVE? Um, I, I think it, this was the topic of, uh, of the last bite size a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I believe that Phil uh, show you in the Sequera website, uh, the new containers tab, uh, which basically provides a super uh, simplified way of requesting uh, Conda or PyPy packages uh, and getting in return a container URI to, to chunk into your uh, Nextflow configuration file. So say you want to use MultiQC, say from Bioconda, say with Singularity, and you just get uh, a URL uh, for your container to grab, to download. Uh, this uh, basically saves a lot of time because you don't even have to, to retrieve uh, I mean, the, the, the only have to retrieve the URL of the container, but this is provided by this simplified interface that takes as input a bunch of uh, of Conda packages. Um, well, you can achieve this also from inside Nextflow, and the big news in uh, starting from the April um, release, stable release is that now uh, Sequera containers and Wave containers have full support for Singularity as well. And so let me show you how this works. So remember, uh, as you learned from the last byte size, and as you can see from the Sequera containers web page, the only input you need is a Conda package. And that's exactly what I'm gonna show you in this uh, example pipeline. Um, so again, I'm just gonna take the example of MultiQC, which is used by the pipeline. You see that the process specified uh, the need for uh, the Conda package MultiQC 117. Um, so the input is already there. What do you need to use uh, wave containers? Um, okay, this is this is the profile. So wave singularity uh, is the one we want to start with. Uh, you see that we have singularity enabled. You see that we're not specifying anymore a container, and that's because we're using Wave, and Wave only needs the Conda information uh, to go ahead, which is already present in the module. So you need to say Wave enabled, uh, Wave strategy Conda, because you want to use the Conda packages uh, specification as input. Um, and this is actually, uh, this is a, a recent addition, the freezed or a frozen containers. Um, which basically enables uh, the usage of the very same containers that are shown in that website, uh, in this uh, Sequera containers website, which is basically a, co a collection of persistent Conda-based uh, containers that uh, Sequera Hub uh, uh, offers to the community. So if you, if, you, if you specify this in your profile, so you want to use Singularity and that was to use wave freezed containers. Let's see what happens. Um, so next flow, run profile wave sync. Um, this, this is already all basically pre-cached as well, so it should run quite fast. Okay, the processes are running. Okay, we're almost there. Okay, the pipeline, the pipeline is run. 
uh, what containers as it as it, as it used. Um, so we could retrieve the information in the log, or we can use uh, the relatively new inspect command. that takes the same flag as run, so say profile web sync. The inspect command is specifically designed to tell you which containers the pipeline uh, uses at runtime. Uh, and you see that what it's using uh, are containers under the community way Sekera uh, URL, which are actually these ones here. Okay. Uh, and then you have Salmon, MultiQC, and FastQC. The key point is that the way you specify these in the pipeline is not by having to think about containers at all. It's just via Conda packages. Uh, so basically, Wave brings the, uh, the, the user experience of requesting for uh, applications required by, um, by your pipeline to a, to a more friendly level by, by not requiring you to learn or uh, retrieve any container uh, URL or anything, just knowing which conda package uh, you need. Um, so this is the default run of Singularity with no other options. Um, let me let me now run the second uh, profile that I have here, which had this OCI auto pool that we saw before. So very same thing as before, but now we're saying OCI auto pool. Okay. Um, And we know that is, this is the option to tell, to basically, uh, without way to tell the next flow to let Singularity handle uh, the, the, the conversion of uh, the, the, sorry, the, the caching of Docker images. Well, in the case of Wave, this has an additional meaning. Um, at the moment, in the starting from the April stable release, uh, using or not using the OCI um, flags in Wave, basically, uh, look at the multi QC example, for instance. Uh, so without OCI auto pool, we have an ORAS URL, and with the OCI auto pool, we have a Docker URL. So what happens is that with uh, uh, if you basically with OCI auto pool, you are, you are telling Singularity to use a Docker uh, a Docker based image, which would be the very same one that would be used with uh, with a Docker runtime. Whereas without that option. Uh, you're, you're telling Singularity to build, uh, to, to retrieve from uh, the community containers of Sekera um, the, uh, the Singularity, the SIF image, which is actually stored using this ORAS format. Uh, and this is the only difference, basically. So it, 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 it's, it's, uh, it's, um, it's still the, the same Conda packages underneath, but in this case, uh, the, the next flow is going to use Docker build images here, and in the other case, we're going to use uh, Singularity component images. The only difference you see here is the, the prefix uh, and actually the hashtag. You can see it here as well. You can play in this, uh, in this uh, uh, website. Uh, so here, there is no prefix. It's a simple Docker image. And with Singularity, it's instead the ORAS case. Um, and then, of course, you could run it the very same way. Um, this was just the inspection. You could run it the very same way. Uh, so as it runs, let me just uh, show you about this. Uh, you, this is the way to use Singularity containers within Wave. So you have the specification of the Wave options, enable Singularity. And then if you want to use Singularity images, you have nothing else. If you want to use uh, Docker images here at OCI or to pool. Um, so these are the two main ways. Uh, uh, just remember, in the in the context of NF Core, the key the key point here is that uh, uh, you could leverage this with a traditional Conda approach, so specifying the Conda packages and just uh, adding a profile that uses Wave. You don't need to hard code uh, the URLs of the containers here anymore. Uh, it's a way that takes care of retrieving the right containers. Um, I'm not going to uh, run this, but in this uh, modified uh, customized pipeline, I have uh, some further examples. Um, the very same syntax actually also enables you to, to build from scratch 
containers for packages that have not been populated in this Sekera community repository before. Uh, this is another service that Sekera now offers. Um, if you want to do that, um, the recommendation is to also add the, your access token and workspace ID of Tower, uh, because this will give you the build logs and the better uh, limits for the service, uh, for the wave build service. Um, this basically means uh, that if in, uh, if in your, doesn't matter what uh, arcane conda requests you have here, you may even have multiple packages. If it hasn't been built before, why will build it for you on the fly? It will take a few extra minutes, but it will, it will be done for you. Um, and all you have to do for that purpose, sorry, uh, is what is here in, uh, is specifying the access token. Uh, one last option uh, in this build, container build context from Conda packages is to also use some customized build repository of your own. Um, um, okay, I'm almost done. So a, a couple of uh, final notes. So uh, one key improvement that was enabled by Singularity, by recent Singularity versions uh, with this improved OCI support is that it's now basically much easier to host uh, standard uh, CIF singularity images in a Docker registry. Uh, so you see what this is the singularity case. This is still stored in the same registry as the Docker images. It's only accessed with a different prefix, but you can leverage the very same registry as for Docker images, which is a much better experience and simpler to set up both for Sekera or for your own registry. This is also enabled by the latest OCI compatibility features of, uh, of Singularity. Um, and that's why basically this new Singularity wave uh, functionalities uh, have become available now. Um, very last example I'm gonna show you just to close the circle and the loop with Phil, Phil's presentation last week. Uh, is just to see uh, how these hashes that are shown here uh, are basically the, 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 the fingerprint of these images. You don't really know, need to, to know them because as you see, Wave will handle that for you, but just as the proof that uh, what you're getting here is consistent with what you can get on Nextflow. Uh, so on the Sekera Containers website right now, we are on multi qc one twenty two one, as you can see here, with, uh, with this hashtag setting with AC0. Um, Oh, this isn't finished yet. Let me kill it just in the interest of time. Um, so let me move to a different branch. The only difference are the versions of the packages that I've made to match the ones available on uh, Sekera containers. Uh, see? Uh, so if I now run this pipeline with the new, um, actually just need to inspect it, with the new multi-QC image, I'm gonna show you that the, uh, that the image uh, you already, is identical to the one on the website, just to convince you, here we go, uh, multi-QC 1221 with AC0. So the, the, the interface is exactly the same on the website and the next flow, we specify the conda package, Singularity or, or Docker, uh, and you basically get exactly the same image. There is a third uh, tool, a third option that uh, I believe Phil showed you last week, which is to the Wave CLI um, uh, tool. And so let me let me uh, achieve the same uh, URL with the Wave CLI. So. I want to get a container with the Conda package multi to C1 to C1 for singularity in freeze mode. And you see that I'm getting the very same image. Uh, so you, the good thing is that you don't need to care about this, uh, Im, uh, this, uh, this URL. You can, uh, you can just let uh, Nextflow and Wave handle it under the hood for you. All you need to specify, it doesn't matter which interface you use, it's just the Conda package uh, that you need. Um, and as I said, just to wrap up, in this case of wave and singularity interaction, um, the big news with the recent version is that 
Apologies. I will start. Um, the big news is that you can now select to use either singularity builds or Docker builds for Wave and Singularity, thanks to the recent uh, feature additions. Um, okay, so this is all I wanted to show you today. I apologize, I went a bit uh, longer. I I tried to, to cover uh, multiple aspects to capture the audience. I hope uh, you can find this useful. And of course, uh, I'm, I'm still here, so open to, to questions uh, if you guys are keen. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, Daniel and Felix, are there any questions? <laughs> Thanks for this uh, very interesting uh, talk. Um, you mentioned that it is possible to also get via the WAVE um, settings containers with multiple um, Conda packages. Yes. And um, is it actually possible to, I mean, assuming I don't have this access tokens or so, um, is mm -hmm. it possible to request building such a container before I actually build it like, or use it in a pipeline? Yes, uh, yes, you can. So uh, this, is, this is why this wave uh, tool can be useful. So you can actually do something like, uh, Add an additional conda package here, say you know, Bioconda same tools, and it will be the very same thing. Um, you can the wave utility is actually indeed useful when you just want to experiment with container building outside of a pipeline. So if this image was already existing, uh, it, it's already available. If it was a new build, it, uh, it will take a few minutes before you can actually download it. Uh, but that's, that's exactly how how this wave tool can be useful. So you can experiment with the image beforehand. If you don't have the access token, uh, basically the difference is that uh, the, the rate limits, so the you have some limits of how many builds essentially you can request with the wave service per minute or per hour, I can't recall exactly. Without the token, you have a, a lower limit, which I would say for experimenting is still, is still, uh, it's still super useful, it, it basically, that is limiting only when you're running at production pipelines. Um, and the other thing is that you don't get the build log. So if, if something goes wrong, you don't you don't get to see what what broke in the in the build basically. But you can use this service also without uh, without the token. Okay, okay, great. That sounds very interesting. And you you show here that you have a conda package where you have multi QC fixed to a specific version and the same tools not. Uh, and this is then intentional because, I mean, somehow it needs to be resolved, right? And yeah. uh, maybe the most recent package of SAM tools is not yeah. compatible with MultiQC. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I just did it because I didn't have a version uh, at end in my in my mind. I didn't want to 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 put a number. I, I think was, there is a SAM tools one point ten, right? So this this should make sense. Uh, but it, it's up to you. Of course, for reproducibility, I would always recommend to specify the version to pin it in the yeah. request the same way you pin it in your pipeline. Uh, so yeah, that was not best practices. It was just for me, me uh, willing to avoid pu putting meaningless uh, version numbers. Okay, um, okay, yeah. great. It sounds great, very interesting, thank you. My pleasure. Are there any more questions? Well, if not, then I'd like to thank you again, Marco, for taking the time to walking us through uh, Singularity. And um, thank you all for listening. And I hope to see you soon again in the next Bite Size. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.